have a you have a worldview that I think is is unique, but it's one that kind of aligns with what I have. Um, and I and you know I follow you on Twitter and I get your newsletter, and so I kind of see the stuff that you're putting out. Um, I know you you're you're definitely in deeper than into you know, a lot of the stuff than I am. Um, a couple of things that you've been talking about lately are you know inflation and deflation, which of course are big topics, and um, disinflation or whatever. But even you know I I know you've been starting to talk about like stock assets and even alternative assets, gold, Bitcoin, etc. So I want to cover all that stuff. But maybe why don't we start with kind of uh, where we're at right right now? I know in your newsletter you had talked about like inflation is picking up sharply, and so let's start with inflation. Um, it seems like a very nuanced argument. Um, obviously, the Fed tries to give us their CPI. Um, I like to say that's kind of like a political tool. Um, but at the same time, we're seeing lumber, you know, go crazy and steel and concrete. And I mean, everything else is going up. Um, so tell us, tell us what, what you mean by inflation is picking up sharply. What are we looking at right now? I think, I, I think I, when, when I wrote that, I'm just looking at the prices of stuff and the chart. It's all, almost all the same chart. It is limit up, limit up, limit up, <laughs> copper, corn, uh, uh, lumber. Uh, you're seeing shrinkflation. You know, someone had a tweet the other day showing the same paper towels at Costco six months yeah. later. It's a 14% smaller package. Um, I, I think the price of stuff is going up a lot. And I think ultimately uh, the Fed is in a bit of a bind because I think as I read a lot of, of, of other work out there and listen to the financial media, to me, it remains poorly understood and rarely discussed that once the debt to GDP is as high as it is in the U.S. at 130 percent, you're out of options. You have to. There, there's only three options. It's, 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 it's default, it's inflate, or it's hyperinflate. That's it. Which are, which are kind of the same. <laughs> exactly. It's, yeah. I mean, hyperinflation is a little bit more of a political phenomenon. And, and to me, I, you, you hear some of the great ones in history, like, like Weimar Germany, et cetera. I don't think that's on the table for the U.S. for a number of reasons. But I do think that, you know, you say, OK, so we're not going to default on treasuries and entitlements nominally. And hyperinflation is highly unlike at least a currency destroying hyperinflation is as is, is, is classically defined as sort of 50 percent per month or more of inflation. And, and so it leaves you inflation. And, and I t bring that all back to the point that once you're at 130% debt to GDP, you, you don't have any other option. They, they, uh, the only Fed policy they really have is, is basically playing a game of these aren't the droids you're looking for. And you're seeing yeah. that from the Fed, you're seeing that from Powell, you, right? You have, you have Warren Buffett who owns whatever, you know, Berkshire Hathaway owns a wide swath of the U.S. economy. He's been doing this for 90 years, uh, or he's, he's 90 years old. He's been doing this for, you know, 80, 70 of those years uh, on some level. And he comes out and says, inflation's going crazy across all of our businesses. Mm -hmm. And like two hours later, Janet Yellen said, I don't think Biden's policies are leading to any inflation. And so it's like, who are you going to believe, you know, me or your, your lying eyes. Right. And so I think when I say inflation is really picking up, uh, the, what we have seen is, is the prices of, of lots of stuff rising rather rapidly. Uh, and then the question of course becomes, is it transitory or not? Um, and that's, that's a whole separate discussion. But when I say inflation is picking up, I'm just, I'm just watching the prices of stuff go up really rapidly. 